to Alwin, Ever and Gerald, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Trinity Sunday. This is not an ordinary feast because this is a feast of mystery. This is not a feast of an event. This is not the feast of a human person like the Blessed Virgin Mary. It is a mystery of our faith. God is one, three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. G.K. Chesterton once said that the Trinity is the sign that the church was really founded by God. And he said, why? Because the Trinity is the core of our Christian faith. And the core of our Christian faith cannot be understood by human beings. If this church was founded by men and women, then the core should be understandable by men and women because it was only created by men and women. But he said, we cannot understand the Trinity because it breaks all the rules. It breaks the rules of mathematics. It breaks the rules of grammar about singular and plural. It breaks the rules about literature. It breaks the rules of many of our principles and therefore we just say, and yet I believe because God taught me so. So the bottom line, my dear brothers and sisters, is the core of our faith is a mystery. We are not a government, an, an NGO, we are not a corporation, we are not a club that we can understand the core values of our organization. The core of our faith is that there is one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It is the core of our faith and we can only approach it with a deep sense of mystery. There are things in life that reason will not be able to understand. There are things in life that science will not be able to explain. But if you have faith, you will be able to understand because by faith in the Lord, by trusting in the Lord, who will never deceive people, we know that the mystery of the Trinity as revealed by the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit about themselves is true. Hindi tayo lulukohin ng Diyos. Kahit hindi natin maintindihan, sasabihin pa rin natin, because I believe you, I believe everything you teach, and therefore, even if I cannot understand, I believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, three persons. Mystery. What does it mean for us? In the recent years, since Pope Francis became Pope, he has repeatedly told us that the face of God is mercy. The face of the Father's mercy is Jesus Christ. And therefore, if we accept the mystery of the Holy Trinity, we must also accept that our primary duty as Christians is to be Christians of mercy. Kaya nga ho, kapag hindi tayo marunong magpatawad, kapag wala tayong pakialam sa kapwa-tao, kapag hindi tayo marunong magbigay, kapag hindi tayo marunong tumulong, ang sinasabi sa atin, parang hindi ka Kristiyano. Because the core of our being Christians is that we are merciful. We know that God is rich in mercy. We can always ask for His pardon. But we know that having been pardoned, our mission is to be merciful with one another. God is a mystery. God is mercy. And the last M for today is God is mission. The Father sends the Son. The Father and the Son send us the Holy Spirit. The Father sent us His only begotten Son. And the Son said, Go into the whole world and proclaim the good news. And empowered by the Spirit that is continuously guiding the church, as the Lord promised, we know that we have a mission. And what is the mission? To restore all things in Christ. To proclaim that God is love. To proclaim that God is one. And we are all children of the one Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In other words, coming to church, we celebrate the mystery of the Eucharist. 
In other words, coming to church, we know that we can receive the body of the Lord because God is rich in mercy. I was asked by a seminarian, what is your favorite part of the Mass? I said without thinking, to be able to say, the Mass is ended, your mission begins. It is not because I am bored with the Mass. It is rather because I know that when the Mass ends, the mystery of continuing the mission, the mystery of mercy, the mystery of compassion must be proclaimed. What you will receive this morning must be shared. And it is only given to you to be shared. And therefore, when you do not share what you have received, you are not only lazy, you are not only selfish, you are a thief, you are a robber, because you are keeping something that is not yours. We began the Mass by saying, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We will end this Eucharist receiving the blessings in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us accept it. We are too small compared to the immense, tremendous mystery of God. And therefore, we just say, Amen. Let us just accept that if we are here, we are only, we are only beneficiaries of the mercy of God. And therefore, we must be merciful. Let us always remember, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit sends us forth. What we have received, we must share. And by our sharing, may the Lord be proclaimed, may love be lived, may mercy be shared, may unity be protected. Amen.